one of the most important skills you will learn that you will need to learn is debugging. We know how to debug you know, regular Python scripts and stuff like that, but how do we debug a Flask app? Now, I'm going to demonstrate to you an error, and we'll start debugging that. So I'm going to start the server, Python server, okay? And I'm going to visit user slash sun. And notice it says there is an antenna server error. We don't exactly know what's going on. We could choose to look at you know the log messages and kind of deduce what it what the error is about. Uh, in this case, there is an index error, string index out of range. We kind of get you know some clue of why this is an error. But there is another way to debug. So at debug equals a true within app.run and save the file. I'm gonna restart the server. Once again, I'm gonna refresh. And notice now the error messages are a lot more helpful on the screen. Um, so I'm going to dive into the line of code that is mine that is causing an error. So it says here, return f string index out of range. So the error in this case is index error. So I'm going to click on this. And usually when you click on this, it would ask you for a debug pin. I'm going to open a private browser here. Okay, and I'm going to click on this icon here again, and it's going to ask me for a pin. It says that console is locked. Now, once again, just go back to um, your server console output. Paste, copy and paste the pin. And now you can interact with your code as if we stop at this line of code. So I can you know, inspect what username is. Username is Sun. And obviously, username, if it's sun, it doesn't have the sixth element, right? Not the fifth, because computers start counting at zero. And this is where the error begins. So knowing that you know this is the error, we can now begin fixing the problem. So um, for sun, you know, we only have really three. Um, and I'm just going to reload again, and it's working. So this is how you can debug Flask applications. This is one way. We're going to get to another way to debug problems, uh, but this is extremely helpful. One last important thing is you never ever want to keep debug equals to true when you're deploying your app to a production server.